What's up guys, Josh here from Blender Bros. And in this video, I kind of want to show you my process for researching different artists, researching different designs, researching, you know, different styles. I want to show you how I approach this and kind of how I build my own visual library very, very easily. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to artstation.com. This is, if you're new, this is kind of the main place where people upload their 3D art or really any art. So what we're going to do is once you're on artstation.com, you want to search for the niche that you're most interested in. So for me, that would be hard surface modeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to type in hard surface. If you're doing sculpting, you can type in sculpting. If you're doing composite you know you get the idea so I'm gonna search for hard surface now you can go to the artist tab but I don't really that's funny reuse like on the top one or something uh, I don't know if that's because of the cookies or I have no idea but you can actually go through here and you can see like who uh, who the big hard surface artists are right you can go through here you can see a lot of impressive stuff so for example Let's um, say you're interested in, I don't know, weapons, for example. What you can do is you can scroll through here and you can see, okay, this guy is creating weapons for Fortnite, the video game. So you could go in here and if you're interested in like stylized weapons or anything like that, follow this guy straight up, go to his account, give him a follow and you have basically unlimited inspiration, unlimited design ideas just by looking at this guy's portfolio i mean this is pretty advanced level stuff this is not beginner level at all so you know when you're designing stuff just collecting this on a reference board getting different ideas for designs for visuals for colors you know things like that is a really really good idea so we can actually go back and what i like to do is i like to open multiple tabs so i can kind of see you know get like a collection of uh, artists basically so this guy right here, he seems to work on the Apex Legends series. So you go in here and, you know, here's another one. If you're into weapons, there's another guy you can follow. Just keep scrolling down. Here's another guy right here. This is for Ghost Recon. I'm not saying you have to follow people doing video games. Uh, there's plenty of concept artists out there, but you get the idea. So when you kind of scroll through all of these artists, what you're going to find is you're going to find artists whose style you do not like, and you're going to find artists whose style you do like, and those are the people you want to follow. Now, say you're into like stylized weapons like this guy, what you're going to want to do, so number one, you're going to want to follow this guy. And then number two, you're going to want to go to his profile, scroll down, and you want to see who he's following as well because advanced level artists, they are almost always following other people in their niche. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna see who he's following and we can kind of scroll down and you're gonna see, here's another guy right here. This is probably somebody I would have never found out about ever had I not seen who he was following. So I could go in here, we find this guy and I guess he's not really doing weapons, but he's doing a very unique type of style, right? You can go in here and this guy made a weapon for Unreal Engine. So this is a really old one, eight years ago. Maybe find something a bit more recent, but you get the idea. You go through here, you find other people that are following the people that you like, and you're gonna have like unlimited sources of ideas, right? Unlimited. So I'm going to keep scrolling down through here. I'm going to see what else I can find. And, you know, there's not always going to be a bunch of people. So we can actually just go back to the search results here and go back and find somebody new. So I'm going to go in and here's a guy right here. This guy is designing weapons for Destiny. So we go in, we open his profile. And I mean, this is advanced level stuff like these are the people that you want to be following if you're not following these guys you're not going to have reference photos you're not going to have inspiration you're not going to have you know the right imagination so what i would recommend doing is finding a few people see who they're following take some of these images put them on a pure ref board you're going to have dozens and dozens and dozens of images that you can use as reference not to say that you want to copy but you want to use it like i said as reference 
And guys, look at this right here. This is interesting. If we go to this guy's weapon, he's using N-Gons. This is all triangulated with Booleans. I say this all the time and people still don't seem to understand. This guy is using Booleans and all he had to do was properly triangulate the weapon. So like, like I tell you, people are using N-Gons in video games. I don't know why this is still like a common misconception. If it's not being deformed, you can get away with it. Look, he even posted it, the normal map and everything, inside of the game. No quads here. Absolutely no quads. And I've been saying this for years, but we still get, you know, heat about it. But look, there's a weapon he designed in a video game environment without quads. It's fine. It's not a big deal. And that kind of brings me to the next point, guys, is you're going to think of different workflows. You're going to see different ways that people approach their modeling just by seeing what's on their portfolio. You might see one workflow and then you might see another guy, for example, this guy who's using a full Boolean workflow. And these are the types of people that you want to learn from, that you want to take inspiration from. Because when you do that, you know, you don't have to watch tutorials all day. You're kind of learning by just researching. So this is a great example right here. And what's interesting about this guy is he's posting, he's even mentioning like um, high poly. This, these are like all high poly versions. And if we scroll down, you can see the low poly version. So this right here, I guess this one's the high poly. And then if we go down, this one is the low poly. Pretty interesting. You can see there's not that much of a difference. All he really did was decimated it down, you know, triangulated it because he had booleans, and it worked fine inside the game engine. By the way, guys, as a side note, if you go to the link in the description, you can go over to our website, blenderbros.com. We have a full course on game asset creation. This, I didn't even plan for this to happen, but in that course, we actually show you the full process for designing a weapon where we use the same exact triangulation process as this guy. Again, this was not planned for this video, I just happened to find this guy, but he's using the same workflow as we teach in that course. You don't need a, you don't need quads, you can use N-Gons, it's not an issue. So if that is something you're interested in, click the link in the description, check out that game asset course, and we kind of show you the full process. So I think at this point you get the idea. You can find literally unlimited motivation by just going to ArtStation, Googling or searching, you know, whatever topic you're interested in. You're gonna find all sorts of people doing the thing you're interested in. All you need to do is follow them, go to their profile, see who they're following, put some of these images on a pure ref board, start studying modeling, start studying design, figure out your own workflow, and you're gonna have literally unlimited motivation just by doing what I'm showing you here. And just to kind of show you guys, this is the uh, pure ref software. It's literally just like an empty slot. What you can actually do, I'll show you real quick. You can just go to somebody's profile and again, you should not be distributing these images. This is for your own study, basically. But you would go in and you could just collect a board of reference photos. For example, um, I need to move this down, but you can just drag this in to the board. Literally, you just drag and drop, you zoom out, and you can do this for, you know, as many images as you want. You literally drag and drop it into the board you make your own reference board and you can do this for you know a few dozen photos or whatever you want. So that's my process, guys. This is how I do my research for my you know reference photos, for my inspiration, for any ideas that I might need. I go to ArtStation, I search for the topic, and then I find people that I like, and then I follow whoever they're following. So this gives me plenty of ideas, plenty of um, you know different workflows that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise. And you basically have access to like unlimited inspiration, which is exactly what you want. So quick video today, guys. Hope this is kind of useful to you. And again, if you head over to the link in the description, blenderbros.com, we have a ton of hard surface modeling courses. We have our hard surface accelerator program, which is going to teach you hard surface modeling in about two weeks. We have our game asset program. We have a ton of different stuff over there. So go to the link in the description. Check out blenderbros.com. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.